Good evening, and welcome to the 63rd Biennial Reorganization Meeting of the Board of Commissioners of the Township of Lower Merion. A few things before we get started. Please silence your cell phones. Amplifying equipment is available for those having difficulty hearing during the meeting. Uh, the audio system in the room is equipped with a telecoil. Uh, that will hook into your hearing aids if you are wearing them and that they are equipped with that technology. Um, when the floor is open for public comment, comment will first be taken from those in the room and then from those attending virtually. Uh, feel free for the people in the room to use the podium to my right. You can adjust the microphone as needed or pick it up if you need to do that. Um, and also if you are making comments this evening and at all of our meetings, please be aware that the board and or staff will respond to the comments after everyone is done giving their comments. Um, I will now call this meeting to order and request that you all rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. I'd like to begin tonight's meeting by welcoming back the members of the board who were re-elected on November 7th, 2023, and who will be sworn in this evening. I would like to extend a special welcome to Commissioners-Elect Jeremiah Woodring and Maggie Harper Epstein, who will take their oaths of office and their seats at the board table for the first time this evening. Commissioner Ray Courtney and Commissioner-Elect Lou Rossman were unable to join us this evening and will take their oaths of office separately. Um, in addition, Commissioner Gilda Kramer is joining us virtually this evening, having taken her oath earlier today. Certificates of election and affidavits of residency have been received from the following individuals. Mr. Daniel S. Bernheim, Ward 1. Mr. Jeremiah Woodring, Ward 3. Mr. Ray A. Courtney, Ward 5. Mr. Sean P. Whalen, Ward 7. Mr. Lewis E. Rossman, Ward 9. Ms. Maggie Harper Epstein, Ward 11 and Ms. Gilda Kramer, Ward 13. I'd also like to welcome our incumbent commissioners who were elected on November 2nd, 2021. Mr. Joshua L. Grimes, Ward 2. Mr. Anthony Stevenson, Ward 4. Mr. Andrew S. Gavron, Ward 6. Ms. Sean Kramer, Ward 8. Mr. V. Scott Zelov, Ward 10. Mr. Todd M. Sinai, Ward 12. And Mr. Rick Churchill, Ward 14. I'd like to acknowledge and welcome the Honorable Karen E. Zucker, Montgomery County Magisterial District Judge, who will administer the oaths of office for us this evening. I'd also like to recognize Township Manager Ernie B. McNeely, Township Engineer Joe Mastronardo, and members of the Township Senior Staff. Thank you all for being here. Township Solicitor Gilbert High, who typically joins us, is unable to be here this evening as he is attending the reorganization meeting for Upper Dublin Township. Finally, welcome also to all of the family and friends in the audience, including former commissioners. Before we get on with the business of the evening, I would like to say that it is an honor and a privilege to serve my fellow Lower Marion residents and a pleasure to assist the Board of Commissioners as we convene this 63rd uh, biannual board meeting. The first order of business this evening is the administration of the oaths of office to our commissioner-elects by Karen uh, Zucker. Your Honor, if you would please proceed to the Oval. Mr. Woodring, would you and your family please join Judge Zucker in the Oval? No. Lori has the microphone. Lori, grab the Bible. The Bible. If I can first just ask your indulgence for a few moments to say a few words. Um, First, I want to thank you all for the privilege and the honor of being asked to swear in our newly elected and our re-elected uh, commissioners this evening. Um, I have the pleasure of knowing many of you, and uh, most importantly, I have a keen understanding of the time and the effort, the commitment, and the patriotism that is involved in being a public servant. And so I thank you, and uh, I think all of Lower Marion's residents join me in thanking you for the hard work that you're about to do on our behalf for the next many years. Thank you. So I'm going to ask you to put your hand, um, if you would, on the table. 
and repeat after me. I, Jeremiah Woodring, duly elected third ward commissioner of the Township of Lower Marion, do solemnly swear that I will support, obey, and defend. Do, 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 do solemnly swear that I will support, obey, and defend the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of this Commonwealth, and that I will discharge the duties of my office with fidelity. Congratulations. Mr. Woodring, you can say a few words if you'd like, or you can have your seat at your dais, at the dais. You can't have both. Sure. <laughs> uh, okay, sure thing. Uh, I just wanted to thank my family and my wife, who has an abundant amount of patience with all of my endeavors. Um, I also want to just uh, give a shout out to my predecessor, Michael McKeon, for his uh, months of um, mentorship, as well as his years of service. Uh, he will be greatly missed, and as I... As I've told him before, I wish I was serving alongside of him instead of replacing him. Um, but I'm, you know, honored to serve this great community. And so thank you, everyone, who has helped me get to this point, um, as well as my predecessors of all of Ward 3 commissioners. So thank you. Our next order of business is the administration of Oath to Commissioner-elect Epstein. If you would please uh, uh, raise your right hand, okay, and repeat after me. I, Maggie Harper Epstein, duly elected 11th Ward Commissioner of the Township of Lower Marion, do solemnly, affirm do solemnly affirm that I will support, obey, and defend, will support, obey, and defend the, Constitution the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of this Commonwealth, and, Commonwealth. and that I will discharge the duties of my office with fidelity. Congratulations. I just lost my backup band. Um, I just want to thank everyone as well, um, my family, who has been working really hard this year to support me, um, and learning not just about civics and government, but learning about public service, which has been, I think, the greatest part of this whole year. Uh, all of the commissioners, many, all of these, and some who aren't sitting here, have been so generous with their time. And not just them, but the township staff, the expertise and their engagement is just unmatched. And if I, I was proud, to live here in Lower Marion before this started, and I'm just so much more proud today. I'm so excited to work really hard for this entire community. So, thank you. And our next order of business is the administration of oath to the incumbent commissioners who were reelected on November 7th, 2023. Mr. Bernheim and Mr. Whalen, would you please join Judge Sucker in the Oval with your families? Kindly each state your name. I Willis Bernheim. I Sean P. Whale. Duly elected, and now say the, the uh, award. Duly elected Ward 1 of Lower Marion Township. Duly elected for Ward 7. Commissioner of the Township of Lower Marion. Commissioner of the Township of Lower Marion. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support, obey, and defend. I will support, obey, and defend 
the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of this Commonwealth. And the Constitution of this Commonwealth. And that I will discharge the duties of my office. And I will discharge the duties of my office. With fidelity. With fidelity. Congratulations. Well, thank you. The next section of our meeting is public comment, where members of the public have the opportunity to address the board on any agenda items. Those items tonight are the nominations and elections of a president and a vice president, and also the resolution appointing the chairperson of the vacancy board. Uh, does anyone in the room have any comments? Anybody online, Lori? No. Okay, great. <laughs> we will close that portion of the meeting. The next item is the nomination and election of a president. The floor is now open for nominations for the office of president of the board. Chair calls on Mr. Stevenson. Uh, thank you. Um, I checked the rules to see if I could self-nominate myself, uh, <laughs> but it was, I was told I couldn't do that. Um, so therefore, um, I um, have the pleasure of nominating my colleague, um, Todd Sinai. Um, Todd Sinai, who has been a resident here for um, a long time, since 1999, here in the township, and was elected in 2017, um, who I've had the pleasure when we were elected together and became colleagues and friends. Um, when he became president, um, you know, he had the opportunity to have a seamless transition because his predecessor, um, Commissioner Bernheim, um, set a high bar for him. And he was able to continue that and pass that torch on to him. And Todd was able to navigate us through some difficult and some, some tenuous times. And the respect that I have for him um, over these, doing this time, continues. Um, and therefore, um, Madam Secretary, it is my pleasure to nominate uh, my friend, the President. Thank you, Mr. Stevenson. Is there a Mr. second? Mr. Zellop? There is a second, and I'm delighted to second the nomination of our colleague and my friend Todd Sinai for president. Uh, Todd has been our president for two years and deserves our support for another two years. Um, we've made a lot of progress. Uh, we have a, a, a list of priorities and a process for establishing that list. We have a sustainability plan. We have a ban on plastic bags that's uh, coming very shortly. We have, uh, we have many capital projects, and, and with Todd's leadership, we have navigated ARP. And we've had another year with a sound budget and no tax increase. We're solving problems and moving forward, and we're even having some fun. Um, the, Todd, the, the process that Todd designed for priority setting is, is really now something that we are all involved in. We each weigh in with our views, and the list that results is our roadmap for going forward. Todd is uh, fair, creative, wise, a good communicator, and he asks lots of questions. He wants our input and opinions, and he sets a realistic agenda. Um, he devotes the time, which we know is significant. He sometimes emails us at 2 a.m. to get us prepared for the meeting the coming day, the following day. Um, he's so <laughs> organized, he holds down two jobs. Uh, so he's president here, he has been president here, and. Uh, he maybe will become president where he works now since I understand there's a vacancy. Um, um, Todd emphasizes that we're the policy makers and our management team runs the township day to day. We don't do that. But Todd, work, Todd works very well with our management team and uh, has high expectations for them. Um, he gives committee chairs responsibility to run their committee meetings and to lead. He sets up committees with different points of view, uh, which ideally leads to productive meetings. Um, he understands that we can't do it all uh, and that there are limits both with us and with our management team in terms of, um, the, amount of the amount of work we ask them to do. Um, but, but we govern the right way. We, we do so in this room with plenty of debate and public input 
We don't do it in the back room, and uh, it is a process that, that takes a while because there's 14 of us. Um, we govern with respect, we vigorously debate and vote, and then move on to the next issue. And we don't cross the line to personal and political attacks. Todd makes sure of that, and he makes sure the public doesn't do that either, as he recently showed us. Um, we're here because we care about this township, because we want to make the best decisions for our community, and because we enjoy public service. We're effective when we have effective leadership, and I'm honored to second Todd's nomination so that he can continue effectively leading this board. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Zellov. Are there any further nominations from the floor? Hearing none, I will close the nominations. Are there any comments from the board before voting? Nope. Okay, nominations are closed and I will call for the vote. All those in favor of the motion as presented, as presented please signify, please signify by, saying by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? The motion carries. Congratulations. <laughs> In the meantime, I will switch seats. You're all full. Yes, I am. Good job, Joe. Thank you. elected president of the Board of Commissioners of the Township of Lower Marion do solemnly swear that I will support, obey, and defend the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of this Commonwealth and that I will discharge the duties of my office with fidelity. Congratulations, Mr. President. Anthony, uh, thank you, Scott. Um, uh, uh, those were those were, were very kind words, uh, and thank you, Jody, for running the meeting uh, to this point this evening, and for looking so relieved to be done. And and thank you for struggling through the same preamble to the meeting that you write for me, and I struggle through myself. I'm glad that you're on the receiving end of trying to tell people about about wearing hearing aids. Uh, that's always that's always tough to read. Um, uh, Happy New Year, everyone. Um, uh, welcome to 2024. Uh, I'd like to thank my colleagues for entrusting me with this role for another two years. Um, I will try and live up to the faith that you have placed in me. Uh, and congratulations and welcome to, to our two new commissioners that we have here tonight, Commissioner Woodring and Commissioner Epstein. Uh, and of course to Commissioner-elect Rossman who uh, uh, couldn't be here this evening. Uh, I look forward to working with both of you. Uh, this is a tremendous township and it's a fantastic board, uh, and it's a privilege for us to get to be part of this. Uh, I'd also like to acknowledge the township manager, Ernie McNeely, uh, the assistant township manager, Brandon Ford, the township secretary, Judy Kelly, and all the other hardworking members of the incredibly talented Lower Marion Township staff. Uh, I have learned a tremendous amount from you, uh, and I look forward to another two years of working productively together. So before looking ahead, uh, I'd like to take a moment to take stock of where we're at. Um, and I thought, you know, one way to do that would be to say, did we make progress on what we set out two years ago to do? So I, I took the very dangerous tact of looking what I said two years ago uh, at this point in time. Uh, uh, to, it's what I thought the board of objectives would be and say, like, you know, how, you know, how, how far did we get on that? 
Uh, so, so somewhat more succinctly than, than last time, um, some of the things that we identified were fire and police. Um, and fire, over the last two years, we saw the culmination of a multi-year process of putting together the memorandums of understanding, creating and filling a chief of department position, improved financial reporting, better coordination across fire companies. Many of these sorts of things are not things that were initiated in the last couple of years. They culminate in the last couple of years because like most things that we do, when we pass them, they don't come to fruition for years later. Um, for police, we signed a four-year labor contract with a police union, and the township continues to have an award-winning department with countless acts by individual officers of heroism, bravery, and outstanding policing. Uh, but there's still more to be done, right? Uh, the need for policing is clearly not waning. Uh, we need to continue our efforts to hire more outstanding officers. We need to complete the superintendent search. Uh, and then I expect we will want to return to the idea of engagement. Uh, another thing that was on the list was ARP allocations and responsible budgeting. We did both of those. Uh, and I asked what, to, what the parallel to ESG would be, uh, environmental, social, and governance policies would be at the township level. Uh, and I, I think we made progress on that. So sustainability, uh, tremendous progress. We have an enormous sustainability playbook, encyclopedia, if you will, uh, a game plan. We're running the first set of plays. Uh, next year's sustainability priorities are ambitious. Governance, we now, as, as Commissioner Zeloff said, we set our priorities early in the year so they can be incorporated in planning and budgeting throughout the year. So when we get to the end of the year, everything's already fully developed and incorporated and ready to be passed. I admit to being a process person. To me, process means productivity. If we get things in the, work, uh, in the works early and we debate them and develop them fully, then we're able to pass them as opposed to things sitting in meetings and never, and never getting through. Social, we've made progress, though not enough, on affordable housing. We are working on building diversity through ad hoc nominations, having a farm team through our advisory boards that would eventually get uh, uh, interested in public service. And another thing that I thought was important two years ago, and I continue to think it's important now, is positioning Lower Marion to be the township for the next 20 years, the leading township for the next 20 years, not just the leading township of the past 100 years. And how do we think about doing that? Well, we've been investing in our township. The Ardmore Avenue Community Center is now funded and moving ahead. The Ardmore Master Plan, streetscape initiatives, walkability, the mainline greenway, township parks and progress, uh, playgrounds, and a record number of capital projects for next year. So that was sort of looking back and it raises the question, well, okay, well, what about the next two years? And to some degree, um, uh, I think more of the same. We've been working on channeling the will of the board into actionable policies that we can pass and get done. Right? And, so, and so, you know, the, the, uh, uh, the, the, the bit about this is sort of like, well, you know, I, I think, I think we, we want to continue with what we have been doing. Um, and that is, you know, using the collective uh, strengths and, and efforts and energy of this board uh, that has you know, really been working tremendously well together and has had a culture of respect of each other's views and informed, vigorous debate uh, that leads to consensus outcomes um, to, to really continue to move the ball forward. But beyond that, I think it's important to always ask the question, of how does the township provide value to its residents? What is it, what is it that, we, that what we do? What is our service that we provide? And that's why the fundamental services, your public works, fire, police, parks and recreation are so important, right? The basic blocking and tackling of the township needs to get done. And we are just fortunate that they are so well run in this township um, that you know, they happen, but we need to continue to keep them top of mind. Uh, how else? Well, residents value amenities. Amenities are parks, sure. But active, energized, community-oriented downtown areas, I think, will be the number one amenity going forward as people work from home a larger fraction of the time. People are going to want more opportunities of things to do, more close to home, more walkable. The tree and canopy that's in our sustainability agenda is also another public good that needs to be supported in many different ways. 
And of course, a more desirable township gets to be more expensive. Uh, and that has consequences, such as gentrification that threatens to stay, uh, displacement of long-time residents. We should be mindful of that and have a plan to address it. The other thing that a township does is, is ref, uh, uh, reflect and support our values. And that's sadly something that we've had to speak to a lot over last year. But Lower Marion, we can never say enough, is welcoming to all. And we will, of course, vigorously defend all of our residents against any hate, persecution, or threat to their safety. I believe we have a tremendous opportunity over the next two years. We once again have a remarkable board with 14 thoughtful, independent, and capable commissioners, all motivated to make Lower Marion the best possible township. The township is in strong shape. All the ducks are in a row. We have an opportunity to accomplish a meaningful and lasting legacy and have a very productive two years. I think we have accomplished a lot together over the last two years. Uh, I look forward with excitement for the next two into working with each of you to bring our collective vision to fruition. Again, thank you for your support. Okay. So, um, looking at this for the first time. So then we turn to the nominations, election, the vice president of the Board of Commissioners. So I will start by opening the floor for nominations for the office of vice president of the board. I recognize Commissioner Gabbard. Great, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, it is my absolute pleasure to nominate Commissioner Sean Kramer for the role of Vice President of the Lower Marion Board of Commissioners. Um, I have had the, the distinct honor of serving in this role for the past four years uh, at the side of two wonderful board presidents, uh, both Commissioner Bernheim and President Sinai. Um, both have exemplified leadership in so many ways. Both have led this board with grace, with intelligence, with courage. Um, and we are lucky to have had such great leadership of this board. Um, the, the role of vice president is an interesting one. Um, it doesn't have any <laughs> real given authority, um, but it is one of influence, of discussion, of questioning, um, as President Sinai said, of endless debate with him, um, and with accessibility of, of the whole board. Um, it's an opportunity to work hand in hand with the board president, with township management, uh, weighing in on everything from uh, committee assignments to how to structure the workload of the board so that we can be as efficient and effective as possible. Um, it's also essential in the role to have a line of communication with all 14 people on the board um, to make sure that we understand what the board is thinking and what the board wants. Leadership, um, is, as I think uh, President Sinai has exemplified, is not about what those in, you know, the president and the vice president want. It's what this board thinks should be the policy. And I think one of the important roles of vice president is, is being there to listen to, to the, the board as a whole. Um, plus, you get to host a hit show on Lower Marion TV beside the gavel. Um, and I am, I am confident that Commissioner Kramer, Kramer will be magnificent in this role if voted, on, voted in by this board. Um, some leaders pound the table to be heard. Uh, she takes a different approach with her quiet and sometimes too quiet leadership style. Um, she is very intelligent, always incredibly well prepared. Um, she is confident in her convictions, but also seeks out opinions that challenge her own thinking. Um, she never demands the high profile project, but never shies away from tackling big and difficult projects, such as allocating ARP funds to our community groups and search, you know, leading our search for the next police, police superintendent. And when she does it, she, she does it and knocks it out of the park. Um, I think it's fair to say that she's universally respected by every single person on this dais. Um, early on in my work career, I learned that the way organizations get better um, and grow is that when there is a vacancy, you replace the person or the, the, you, you fill that vacancy with somebody who's better than the person who was there before. And I truly believe that if the board supports this nomination, we are doing absolutely, absolutely doing that um, and hope this board supports my nomination for Sean Kramer as vice president. Thank you. Uh, is there a second? Uh, Commissioner Well. Thank you very much. Uh, I am ecstatic to second not only 
former VP, I think by minutes here, uh, Gavrin's uh, superlatives thrown towards <laughs> Ms. Kramer, uh, but also the sentiment behind, uh, behind it that um, Commissioner Kramer has the ability and I think the infectious enthusiasm to take us forward and to you know, not try to turn over the apple cart, but really help drive us forward. And that enthusiasm is not only for this township, uh, but the governance of it and what she can do and how she can do it. And um, I would also just take a minute and I would be remiss in not saying thank you very much, Andy. As a, as a friend and a colleague, you both showed me a lot of how to uh, practice as a commissioner since I've only been on the board one term, but also I, I think you've led us extremely well with great integrity. So thank you very much. And most importantly, thank you. And I will finally state that the only loss here for uh, Commissioner Kramer <laughs> becoming VP is to myself, because I actually have had the benefit for a year now of sitting next to her, and uh, that is now a loss. So I don't think anyone's allowing me to go to the middle, but <laughs> we'll see how it plays out. <laughs> Thank you, Commissioner Whalen. Uh, are there any further nominations from the floor? Okay, hearing none, I will close the nominations. Uh, any comments from the board before voting on the motion? Okay, seeing none. Uh, so I will call for the vote. All those in favor of the motion, please uh, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? The ayes have it, and so I hereby declare Sean Kramer, the duly elected Vice President of the Board of Commissioners. No, 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 no. Nobody wants that. I don't want it. Nobody on the board wants it. I'm Sean Kramer. Duly elected Vice President of the Board of Commissioners. Duly elected Vice President of the Board of Commissioners. Of the Township of Lower Marion. Of the Township of Lower Marion. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I shall support, obey, and defend. That I shall support, obey, and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of this Commonwealth. And the Constitution of this Commonwealth. And that I shall discharge the duties of my office. And that I shall discharge the duties of my office. With fidelity. With fidelity. Congratulations. Thanks. very honored to accept this nomination, which I've only accepted so that you can all hear me, because I'll, I'll now be sitting in the middle. Um, I, I would like to um, first thank Vice President Gavran. Uh, you leave big shoes to fill. Uh, you're a role model for serving in a leadership role with integrity and commitment and skill and humor, and in the occasional Star Wars costume. Uh, I'm very glad that you're here to continue your excellent work on behalf of the community. We're, we're very fortunate in Lower Marion to have such dedicated and professional township staff and board, and I'm, I'm thrilled to be working with all of you. I have tremendous appreciation and respect for each and every one of you and for the leadership of President Sinai. And I trust that I can count on all of you uh, for your support and guidance and constructive feedback uh, as we work to serve the township together. Uh, and to our new colleagues, a very warm welcome. I'm thrilled to get to work with all of you, with, with you and Lou, 
and to your families and to all of our families uh, who serve alongside us and support us in this work, thank you. Uh, we couldn't do it without you. Thanks. Uh, so the next item on the agenda is the adoption of a resolution appointing the chairperson of the township's vacancy board. Um, and it is uh, with great gratitude uh, that uh, I thank uh, Miriam Phillips, former Commissioner Phillips, for being willing to serve in this role. She's been a tremendous uh, public servant to this township for, for a lot of years. And, and we are very grateful for your willingness to continue to serve. Um, so I'm going to move uh, that, that uh, for adoption of the following resolution. Resolved that in accordance with Article 5, Section 530 of the First Class Township Code, Miriam W. Phillips is appointed as chairperson of the Township's Vacancy Board to serve until her successor qualifies. This board consists of the 14 members of the board and a registered voter of the Township who shall be appointed by the Board of Commissioners at the Township's first meeting each calendar year or as soon thereafter as practical and who shall act as chairperson of the vacancy board. Do I have a second? Thank you, Vice President Kramer. Uh, all those in favor, please raise your hands. Opposed? Abstentions? Uh, Madam Secretary, uh, that carries unanimously. Uh, and with that, that concludes the 63rd biennial reorganization meeting uh, for this evening. We are adjourned.